Okay, so today we're going to show you how to build Sparkle queries in Graph completely automatically and completely visually uh, without writing any text. Um, most of the people that look at this demo will have written Sparkle queries and they will have had some frustrations. I mean, you want to write a query, you ex know exactly what you want to do except you have to find namespaces, you make spelling mistakes, all these all these URIs are usually far, far, far too long. And then you write filter expressions and you have to go to the WFD website to find uh, how to do the syntax for your filter stuff. So it's, um, so in, in itself, Sparkle is relatively simple to understand, but just then writing it is just tedious. So we wrote a visual query editor to make that far and far more easier. Okay, so I'm going to demo this today, and I'll start with the database. So what you see here is Graph, um, and I open the database called golf.db. It's uh, a database that you actually can find in our distribution. It's uh, and the database is originally comes from Psych, um, and in the context of a government contract, they added some information about terrorists, uh, terrorist organizations, weapons, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera and turn that into RDF. Um, and so we have this database here, and you can get it from a distribution. Then, um, so I have loaded it in, and now I want to find, um, I would say I want to do a Sparkle query where I find uh, all the properties of the leaders of terrorist organizations. Yeah, very simple query. Well, let's start and let's begin. So, because I've free text indexed uh, all the triples. Let me just start by finding Osama bin Laden. Um, I choose from add, add subject notes by free text query. Usually I just use the semicolon, by the way. Um, so I'm here and I say, oh, I already had typed it in, Osama bin Laden. And I click OK. And here I get all the triples that somehow have Osama bin Laden in them. And I click on Al-Qaeda. And so now I have one node uh, with Al-Qaeda. Um, I can hit the letter T. Well, let me show you here. I can go to the table view. And here we see all the properties of Al-Qaeda. Yeah, so we see that Al-Qaeda is able to control the Hira construction. Al-Qaeda is affiliated with the Jihad group. Al-Qaeda has allies, Islamic group, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, so I could click on, say, um, what do I see here? Osama bin Laden. Here see we all the properties of Osama bin Laden. And I can just keep on clicking. Um, then I can go back to the view, the, the graph view with G. And so you see all the things I clicked on so far. But let me go back to Al-Qaeda. So um, I hit the letter Z a few times. And now I'm back to my original one. Um, I could explode Al-Qaeda in different ways. So if I can do right click, I can say a subject. And I could click on some properties like leaders. Show me all and say the founding agents. Uh, the founding agents. <clears throat> so now we have here, um, for example, this person and this person are both a leader and the founding agent. And remember this because I'm going to do something with that later when I build my query. And then I could look at, say, the features of a particular person. Um, and I could right click on it and go to a subject. Or I could actually let, hit the letter I. And I get all the predicates that come from the things that you see on the screen. And let me just select all, meaning give me all the triples that start with this person. and. If I copy them, then I also get all the triples that point to this person. And I could click on this person, hit the letter F, and then I go deeper and deeper. Yeah, and I could hit on this letter here again, F. And so I could uh, explore the graph completely graphically. But anyway, let's now go back and create a, um, a query. So what we do again, we'll start with Al-Qaeda. So we take Al-Qaeda. And we copy this one, so we do Control C. So what you see at the bottom is now that Al Qaeda is copied to the clipboard, and now I go to the Visual Query Editor. Yeah, um, I'll do this once with the menu. The rest of the time, 
I will just have to hit the letter E. Yeah, but for this time, I go here to graphical query view. And so now I can start building queries. So I just copied Al Qaeda. And so here I have it again. I do Control P, and here I have Al Qaeda in my screen. Yeah, so a lot easier than typing the whole thing you see at the bottom. We just get it here. And let's do, um, let's look at some properties. So say first, let's find the leaders. So I right click and I add a node variable and I call it a leader. And then I add a predicate, a predicate link. So I drag it to the leader and I have to choose one of the predicates. And I could, well, there's many ways to do this. This is common predicates, the, the predicates most used. Reference predicates are predicates that are used for Al-Qaeda. So I click on R, and I find, say, has leaders. And so now I have a query where it says Al-Qaeda has leaders leader. And I can do a query. And here we see all the leaders of Al-Qaeda. Um, by the way, so I jumped into the, this screen is actually the, the query uh, screen. If I hit the letter E again, I'm back in this thing here. And also let's add the founding agents. So I right click, I say add node variable, I make a new one, I call it a founder. And um, we add a predicate link here. And I take one of the things that I know that is in Al-Qaeda, and it in this case is the, uh, the founding agent. So now we have that. And I can do the query again. So I can do the qu query. Here's the query. And here you see the sparkle that was actually generated. Yeah. So here you say select every leader and founder, where Al-Qaeda has a leader, leader, and a founding agent, founder. So let me go back to the query view by hitting the letter E. And uh, say now I want to say that the leader and the founder cannot be the same. Well, it's easy to add that. So I can just right click on the leader and say um, add a filter link and I drag it to the founder. And now there's various things I can do. One of them is I say, they have to be the same or not the same. And if these things were numbers, I can say smaller than or bigger than or whatever, or same term. Let me just choose this one here. And if we now look at the text of the query, you see that we added the filter for the leader. Um, it's not the same as the founder. Yeah. Let's go back to the query view again. And, let's, and, and as we said, we wanted to see all the properties of the leaders of terrorist organizations. Uh, well, the first thing is we'll turn Al-Qaeda into a general query about terrorist organizations. So what we do is we say convert to a variable with a type. So we do this, and we make a new node variable, and we say a terror group. And what you see now is we see that we have turned Al-Qaeda into a, ter a group of type terrorist group Islamist. So the triple star knows that the terror group uh, has this particular type. Um, so when I turn this into a parable with the type, it will do it automatically. <coughs> Can you just imagine that you had to figure that all out yourself and grab through files or look at the database and, and kind of do copy and paste? No, this makes it completely automatic to go from an instance to the general type of that particular instance. I'm really excited about that, uh, about that capability. So let's do the query again. And so now we find um, terror groups, leaders, and founders. Actually, we get only one terror group here because there's only one terror group where we had both um, the uh, founder and the leaders, and they were uh, not the same. OK, so we go back. And so now we want to know all the properties of a leader. So we can right click on leader. No, sorry. I make a new node variable. And I call it uh, other. So now I want to know everything else about the leaders. And I 
um, in this time, create a new type of link, which is a predicate variable link. Yeah. So I don't know what the name of the predicate is. I just want to know everything about this particular person. So, and I will call it just simply a link or whatever I want to call it. Now, if I uh, do the query, I find all the different um, properties for leaders. So has been in occupation, the sponsor, the comment, who the boss is, the friend, the goods, has been in, etc., etc. So you basically find everything about these leaders. And then one final thing. Um, so we have this leader here, who's not the same as the founder. So um, let's do a filter for a particular node. So say I only want the leader where the leader has Osama in it. So I right click on leader, I say specify node filter, and then here's all the things you can do in Sparkle filter expressions. But we just choose say a regular expression, and say we type Osama. And I say OK. So now we see leader with a regex Osama. And if I do the query, then we see that the leader in this case is not only Osama bin Laden. And here's the full query. Um, then there are some few other possibilities that you can do. I, if I right click on the background of the screen, I can say specify variables to select and specify variables to order by. Yeah, so, for example, I don't want to see all the variables, and I can just click on this, and I can say, okay, I want to only see uh, other and leader. Once I've done that, if I look at the text of the query, so now we see that we only get other and leader. Yeah, so this is one way to deal with this. Um, and then another, oh, I hit the letter R, by the way, to get, oh, no, I have to go take this to get to the center again. Um, and the other thing I want to show you is uh, you can also do order by. First, let me select all the variables again. So I say specify variables to select. If I click once, all the variables will be selected again. Now I right click again and say I want to order by the link type of um, of, of the predicate link, the predicate variable link here. So I specify variables to order by, and then I say, well, I want to specify by this, and then the second thing would be by founder, and the third thing would be by this. So now if I, and then I click again, and now if I show the text of the query, we see order by other founder and leader. And that basically uh, concludes my demo. I'm extremely enthusiastic about this because uh, I always find it hard to write Sparkle queries, but this has got so easy. And um, we have, uh, well, Graph is, uh, as always, freely available on our website. Um, this is in the lab section. It currently works only with 3.3. It probably this week also work in uh, our 4.0 version. Just download it, play with it. And uh, let us know what you think, and uh, let us know what um, uh, what we should change or make better. By the way, before you do it, please know that we're also working already on two additional uh, features. We're going to add optional expressions, and we're going to add union expressions. So expect that to be there in the lab in, say, the next month. So I hope you have fun with this. Thank you.